Oh, yeah, everyone, Sleepy Noobits here, back for another and extremely late Sleepy Watch Along Review. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, if you've actually kept up to what I've been doing, I've I literally just got screwed over a bit on Sunday and literally couldn't do shit either then or on Monday. Well, I didn't really get screwed over, more like I screwed myself over because a three-hour stream turned into a seven-hour stream that ugh, I basically went to bed at like 5 a.m. and didn't have the energy to do this video on Monday, so now it's on Tuesday night. And, uh, anyway, let's get to the good stuff. Last time we had an actually interesting episode with the whole with black gatomon coming back and stopping the mad max race of metal phantomon and sister mon cl outside of that i have actually already spoiled myself a little bit on this episode it seems we're actually finally starting to get the lore not lore not lore the plot in this episode, which is gonna be good. That's gonna be great, especially since Clockmon's gonna come back. So ho I don't know what actually happened, just that some plot starting to actually form. All right, let's get on with it. Just like last time, I've already skipped the Kate Sith inch toy intro in the opening. I'm at 135, where with the pink dragon about pink hologram dragon about to blow some fire. So let's get on with it. Three, two, one, and go. Hello, get him. new technology that we keep hearing about weekly over and over and over again. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Ugh. I'm really excited for this episode. But even without the knowledge that it has actual plot i'm i was just excited for the rematch can't wait to see clockman again he he's still by far the creepiest of all of the digimons we fought so far Ooh, are we already starting with a nightmare ah uh, an out of body experience a uh, classic <laughs> uh, yeah my mom shook you just sleeping like a puppy next to hero and he fell back down to his body I clocks clocks. No, Clockmon's just screwing you. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good pun. Well, J Japanese pun, since that wouldn't really work on it in English, since chocolate and late don't really rhyme or, or and aren't even some. Hey, it's his friend! Mm. So he already, he's already go going out of class. Hmm. I don't know. I was expecting a what's it? What should I call it? Ah, fuck it. Hmm. Yep. There's Clockman. I hope we get to hurry up on the plot, plot then, and not just have half of the episode being hero getting trolled by Clockman. The ooh. Yep. It's just more being trolled by Clockman. Isn't yeesh. 1035. Jesus. And see, he hasn't really realized it's just clock screwing to him. Come on. Or at least suspect that it's a Digimon, Jesus. <laughs> you can't be this dense after so many episodes of just instantly, Oh, it's a Digimon. Oh, it's a Digimon. <laughs> at this first sign. 
Jesus. It's already midnight. Yeah, the good old, you you keep your eye on the clock and it's moving slowly. You don't look at the clock and it immediately hours and hours later. Yep. Wow, he really just stayed up all night staring at the clock. I was just guessing, but he actually did it. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, sure, there's definitely stress, it's not like you guys haven't been dealing with Digimons doing this exact type of thing for... How long has it been in-universe time? Hmm... Solo camping. What? Where did that come from? Wait a minute. I feel like I missed something. One second they were talking about a, a place about where he could relax and then he goes about solo camping. Hmm. Oh, okay. They are at this place. Hmm. Hmm. Jellymon really doesn't strike me as the type to read. She seems more like the type to torture the info out of people. Of course it is haunted. Now it makes more sense. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if this is actually Clockmon or someone else. Or... Yeah, it's definitely gotta be someone else. This doesn't seem like Clockmon's MO. Is it me or is this episode kind of going way, way slower than the other two? Like, the other two felt like they went at a breakneck pace. But this one's like just slogging along. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, how was that? All of his senses are being screwed over. Now his sense of distance and time are getting screwed over. Great. Mm. And who's that? Oh, wait, no, that's just a normal person. Come on, give me the good stuff. Who is it? Uh, finally, the good stuff. <laughs> I'm still wondering who the fuck it could be like. Who's actually, like, there's no real hint at who it might actually be doing all the fuckery. Hmm? Oh, Tappermon! Pokemon! Okay, I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why this 
English people, they're usually peaceful. Hmm. Oh, they just wanted attention. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, my money. <laughs> so cute. Finally, the questions that matter. Mm. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, Great, it's just the invisibility question. God damn it. Come on, give us something more. Like info on the actual digital world. Mm hmm Yeah, this is all just stuff we can pretty much guess just from seeing the series. But what about the other stuff? Where do you come from? Why do you screw with humans? Mm hmm Okay. Okay, so these are just basically the rules of how what these Digimon go through, okay. Orogram ghost. Hmm. Okay, so there's full on can't interact but can go through walls. They the one that can interact with with physical stuff but can't be seen and the actual one that fight humans and screw with them. I'm guessing Drachmon was the first one. Woo. Finally, Digimon materialization. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's what they were all probably doing. Trying to gather neg negative emotion to materialize. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, heart stuff, stuff pe people use to digivolve and all that. Mm -hmm. There it is, the ones who would rather just torture people. The human. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Wait. I think I saw something inside that gate this time. Hmm. Finally, the question we all want it. Obviously, it's the question we won't get at and any answer to because who the fuck knows? I'm a human in a digital world. Yikes. So it's impossible for now. Yeah, sure. Mm. Mm. At least the episode's speeding up. A lot of lore drop, but nothing on the clock, Mondo. <laughs> ah! Ah, that. Doesn't matter which anime, anime food always looks so delicious. <laughs> God, I wish all of those treats were real. And if they were, that they were a fucking affordable. <laughs> Poor kid. Always seeing the Digimon and no one ever looking at where he points. Eh, hey, Clockmon showed up again. Hmm? 
They already left. He lost time again. Yeah. Jesus. It's so annoying. He hasn't really figured out his Clockmon or even a Digimon in general. Like, they figured the whole thing with the library was a Digimon, but how can you not think this was a Digimon's fault? Too? There it is. Finally, Clockmon! Ah, he still looks horrifying like he did before. The close-up to his lips was horrifying, though. Yes. <laughs> God, Clock was fucking OP. I guess he was OP in Cross Wars, but eh. I mean, being able to time travel and all that. Holy crap, this is another level of OP. Well, then again, Digimon's in general are pretty destructive, so... Makes sense that less destructive ones have broken abilities like that. There we go. I mean, he was there with friends. So obviously, they were gonna get there on time. Oh wait, Pokemon! Oh, well, I guess we got our first, hopefully, recurring Digimon's. Then, Pokemon looks like he'll definitely be that the same as in Frontier, just showing up to. Give them info when they need it. <laughs> Not like last time, Clock Money can digivolve this time. Ooh, ooh, Corona Breaker in the face. Also, how. Okay, now I gotta say, how the hell did no one realize it was a Digimon screwing with Hero, but Bakumon and Pakumon and Bokumon actually did? <laughs> Wait. <gasps> Is this the Dark Evolution? Come on, give me the Dark Evolution! Gamma Mon's mad! Oh, 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 it's so cute! Oh, damn. Jeez, he just one shot it. That was a good to see. I hope we can see his dark evolution again later. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now well, that's what happened. He just reflected. Ah, uh, I thought he was getting deleted. Wait. Oh, is he actually getting deleted? Oh, their first kill. Holy crap. Finally. <laughs> He's gonna save him. He's gonna save him. I just know it. He's gonna save Clockmon. He's they're delaying the death way too much not to save him. I knew it. Why are they evolving? Why do they need to evolve to help him? And how are they even gonna help him? <laughs> Wait, are they just actually gonna put them out of his misery or something? Oh, okay. That's what it is. Oh, what? <laughs> oh! Spin the clock the other way. Okay, use all of our special moves on the clock. <laughs> so he literally just used sword blow. Why? Why are you screaming it now? Oh, now he used it as a punch. Wow. <laughs> all they had to do was just grab it with their hands or anything else. That's just overkill. <laughs>
and seriously CPR. <laughs> wow. They're just beating the crap out of him to help him. <laughs> Are you shit? <sighs> uh, it's taking so finally. They really wasted their time with that scene. Too bad. It was obvious he was taking way too long to die. Plus, I get it is still too early for the kids to start murdering their enemies. <laughs> hey, he's physical now. Damn. Oh, wait. Isn't that even worse? Now that he's materialized, he can screw people more. Wait, ah, uh, uh, he's just gonna get redeemed just like that. And there we got our weekly dose of Angoramon Wisdom. How is he gonna, what is he even gonna do? He's materialized. Oh, thank you, Pokemon, for answering my question. <laughs> uh, so he's just gonna stay in the library. So they're all just gonna start learning how to change their their shit from materialized to ghost and all that. Okay, I mean they kind of already do it with the watch, so it's not really needed. But I guess being able to do it at will it will really help with some fights later on. Especially we're gonna start seeing more Digimon materialize. <sighs> It was evil, Gamamon. That's what it was. Well, that's the end of this episode. That's... We finally got some world building done, but... Ugh, not as exciting as I thought it'd be. Honestly, for being the first plot-focused episode with hero stuff... It was kind of dumb. Anyway. Skipping the... There we go. Ghost game Digimon. Games are so fun. <laughs> Our gamer Digimon, really. Another gamer episode. There's always one every season lately. Eh, what's that? Oh, Ginkakumon, Ginkakumon. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's just gonna be a fighting game episode. Eh, back to the usual grind of fillery episodes. Well, that episode was semi-nice. We got no info on Hero's father, but we finally got info on how Digimon work in this world. So that's actually, that is a lot since the rules of how Digimons work in each world kind of differ from series to series. So it's nice to know. So they just have three state ghost, semi-materialized, and fully materialized. Oh, well, actually, no, ghost is the semi-materialized, the, well, whatever. I actually already forgot how they called them all, but... Whew. Another bad guy turned friend. That's getting annoying. I was really hoping for at least his death. Uh, we'll get it so at some point. This is Digimon. This is still the earlier parts. We're gonna get deaths and, and, and more ruthless enemies as time goes on. <laughs> Uh, I guess the CPR stuff kind of makes sense, since CPR is basically just violently squeezing a patient's heart until they cough up whatever's clogging their arteries. <laughs> Only instead of squeezing, they were just punching it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, the episode was pretty uh, dull, but informative at least. Super slow, though. I really hope the next one's not as slow as this one anyway. Goodbye, everyone. This has been Sleepy Noobiz, and I am God. Oh, yes, to be.